Good evening, Valley. I'm Daisy Barrera. Ryan is on assignment and forced on for, first on four. The Willacy County coffers are full right now with over five million dollars. But District Attorney Bernard Ammerman is requesting money from the state to prosecute two alleged murders. We went to find out why. The state law counties have to pay for indigent defense. Mexican nationals 30-year-old Gustavo Tijerina and 40-year-old Ismael Hernandez have pled not guilty to the shooting death of off-duty Border Patrol agent Javier Vega Jr. back on August 3rd. Willisley County investigators say Vega and his family were fishing in a remote area when the two suspects came up behind them armed and looking to rob them. Fire was exchanged, killing Vega Jr. and injuring his father. Both Tijerina and Hernandez are charged with capital murder and are facing the death penalty. But now Willisley County must not only prosecute them, they must also pay for their defense. When this happened the last time the county, just on the defense side, uh, we had to pay almost $500,000 to their attorneys. County Judge John Gonzalez foresees this case to also exceed the half million dollar mark just for the defense. To help alleviate some of that burden on taxpayers, District Attorney Bernard Ammerman is applying for a $200,000 grant from the governor's office for the trial. He's going to have to hire, you know, uh, expert witnesses, additional investigators. So there's going to be an additional cost to the county for this. Ammerman could not comment on the issue since State District Judge Migdalia Lopez granted a gag order in this case. Each year, Willisie County collects about $4.5 million in tax revenue, much of it coming from the immigration detention facility and energy mills. Right now, the general fund sits comfortably at $5.5 million. So why then does the county need to request money from the state? Well, because that's money that we need to use for the local community. I mean, you know, it, it upsets me that, we're gonna, that we would have to use any of that money to put these guys in prison or what have you. I mean, that money is for the local community. Now the grant is available through the state's criminal justice division. Right now, a trial date has not yet been set.